Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate hours worked using a time card. I'm going to show you one way uh, in great detail and I'll, I'll walk you through another way you can do it as well. There, the one method that is, is going to be counting up hours and it works really nicely when the hours are nice even uh, numbers, but it doesn't work so well when you've got weird decimal hours as we'll see in the last couple lines of this table. So anyway, let's just jump right into an example and see if we can figure this out. Antonio is a cashier in a store that sells Caribbean products such as ginger syrup, uh, ki, and dasheen. Uh, those are both delicious and you should try them if you haven't. Anyway, his time card uh, for one week is shown below. How many hours did he work? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, whatever. So let's go through one, one row at a time. Now this, this first one from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., this one's actually really simple to do just by counting up the hours. You literally like put your fingers out in front of you, you start at seven, you say 8 a.m., put up one thumb, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. That's my really crudely drawn hand with three fingers, four fingers up and a thumb. Hopefully that made sense to you. And you get that it's four hours worked. The other way to do that is, in this case, it's just 11, 11 is your ending hour, seven is your starting hour. So you can do the difference. 11 minus 7 is 4 hours. This next one, this method again works really well. Okay, I'm going to try to draw the hand a bit better this time. So starting at 9 a.m., let's count up. So 10 a.m., 11 a.m., noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., that's a full hand, that's 5. I press to 2 p.m., so 3 p.m., 4 p.m. So just counting up hours, that got us to 7. Now for subtracting, you can't, you can't just do 4 minus 9. What you need to do for your afternoon time, because this is p.m., that 4 o'clock you basically need to turn into 24-hour time, if you know what that is. You need to add your 12 hours for noon to your 4 hours in the afternoon, which is 16 o'clock, essentially. So it's 16 minus 9, if you want to do the subtraction method, and 16 minus 9 gets you your 7 hours. This next one, it's quarter hours. Except they're both quarter hours. This 15 minutes and this 15 minutes, you're starting on a quarter hour, you're ending on a quarter hour, so the minutes actually don't matter at all. You can completely ignore the minutes because they're the exact same. And again, if you're counting up your fingers, I'm running out of space down here, but I'll do it over here. So uh, 11, noon, one, two, three, that's five on the first hand, four, five, six, gives you eight hours if you count up on your fingers. Now the other way, you need to use your conversions. Watch my other video for this if you forget how to do this, but you need to know that 15 minutes is 0 0.25 hours, 30 minutes is 0 0.5 hours, and 45 minutes is 0 0.75 hours. So if you have those memorized, that's great. Otherwise, you need to watch my other vision, uh, video about setting up and solving a proportion. But this way, uh, again, your afternoon hours, your PM hours, you need to turn into 24 hour time. So six plus 12 makes it 1800 hours. So your subtraction is 18 minus 10, which gives you the same eight hours that we got with the finger counting method. Now the reason why I've shown you two methods so far is for this question right here. The finger counting method doesn't work really well when your minutes don't match. So you can count up. You can count up your hours and then count up your minutes. If you know that there's a half hour between 15 minutes and 45 minutes, you can do it that way. So you count up 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11 is 3 hours plus half an hour. If you can count that up, that's great. But a lot of students have difficulty with that, and that's okay. It's kind of a tricky thing to do. But you can turn your 11 hours and your 45 minutes and turn that into 11.75. And you can take your 8 hours and 15 minutes and make that 8.25. And they're both AM, so you can just subtract them as is. You don't need to worry about noon. Or anything like that and you get uh, so 7.75 minus 25 gives you 50 cents so that's gonna be 0.5 and 11 minus 8 gives you 3 so either way you're going to get 3.5 hours this last one is trickiest of all and the counting up method for this this Friday oh is actually really tricky and the reason is that 45 minutes is actually sort of if you think within a clock it's after the half hour which means if you're going to count up 
The way you would need to do this, and I'll walk you through it if, if you really want to do it this way, you're going to need to add a quarter hour to get to 11. Sorry, that should mean 11. So you add a quarter hour to get to 11, then you need to figure out from 11 till 3 p.m. is, uh, if you count up, that's four hours. So you've got uh, a quarter hour here, a quarter hour here, plus 11 to 3, plus a half hour at the end. So you need to take your quarter hour from the first step and your half hour from the last step and combine those to three quarters of an hour. And then you need to know three quarters of an hour is 0.75 and add that to your four hours you got by counting up. Okay, if you didn't follow that, don't worry. A lot of people don't. That's actually a really, really tricky thing to do. Which is why this method here is actually your sort of fail safe your fail safe, fail safe method that will always work. So let's do that to this question, and you'll see that that makes this question no harder than any of the first four we've done. What we're going to do is we're going to take our afternoon time. Uh, we're going to, oh, sorry, I did the three first. So let's do the three first, plus our 12 hours for noon to get 1,500 hours. And the 30 minutes is going to make that 15... Actually, I guess let's just let's just keep the minutes for now. Let's make that 1530. Our morning is still 1045. So that's going to turn into a subtraction of 15. The 30 minutes is 0.5. And our 45 minutes, so minus 10 hours, and our 45 minutes is 0.75. And then this is just a subtraction you can just plug into your calculator. Uh, or you can uh, you can do well, however you want to do subtraction, it doesn't matter. 4.75 hours is what you get. So counting up is great. Works out really nicely, especially when it's something simple enough that you can count on your fingers, like our Monday and Tuesday in this example. But as you get up into the trickier minute stuff that gets ugly in these last two, like Thursday and Friday especially, you really want to be able to do uh, this method uh, here. Okay, now finally, we figured out the hours, so let's add up the total hours to figure out how much Antonio gets paid, because that's what we all want to know. So his total hours, uh, we add that up, uh, so 4 plus 7 is 11, 11 plus 8 is 19, 19 plus... Uh, 3 is 22, 22 plus 4 is 26, 26, I've got an extra hour here, makes it 27 and a quarter, 27.25. That's oh, right, basically I thought of this in terms of money, by the way. If you want to know how I did that in my head, what I did was I did the 50 cents is 2 quarters and the 75 is 3 quarters, which gave me an extra buck 25 on the end. So, uh, last question, uh, he earns 15.85 per hour. So let's turn this into a rate. 15.85 per one hour and he works for a total of 27.25 hours. I feel like I'm gonna get an ugly decimal for this. Um, X equals 431.9125, which we round to $431.91. There you have it. That is a timesheet question. Starts pretty easy on Monday, uh, gets pretty hard by the time we get to Friday. And there are two for you to practice on the next page. That's it. That's skill eight.